you know, uh, obviously, uh, first down is critical to our success and to most guys' success. You know, if you can win first down, uh, it definitely gives you a chance to win second and third down. Um, and that's the thing that our guys are really doing a better job of, of preparing, knowing how people are attempting to attack us on first down. And, uh, you know, you can't teach experience, and that's one of the things after Game 7. Guys like Caleb Hughes and guys even like Brandon May have really kind of get an idea of uh, – how people are trying to attack us week in and week out. Not to downgrade the start he got off on, but is Fletcher Cox finally playing at the level that you expected him to play at at the beginning of the year and then what you what you thought you were getting out of him early on? No, he can be better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Answer that no. Uh, you know, it, it's never good enough. Okay. You can never coach good enough. You can never – Play well enough, and, uh, and and that's the and that's kind of the, the tough part about being in our business. There's something every day that I can improve on, and every player can improve on, and and that's what we go out every day. We we try to keep, as we say, the main thing, the main thing, focusing on on fixing our stuff, you know, which is playing with great fundamentals and great effort, and then knowing our opponent as well as we can possibly know him. Brandon May, does he seem to? really be catching on the last couple of games and like he's playing a little bit better. He is. He's having fun. Yeah. And that's the thing you notice. I, I, I think uh, he's he's really beginning to, to, to understand. And, and I, don't, I don't ever think people say, well, has he bought in? It's hard to buy in when you don't know everything that transpires in, in, yeah. in, in a few months. But what I really think he's doing is he's, he's understanding the defense. He's understanding our culture. And he's understanding his teammates. And uh, he's an integral part of the rest of this, you know, rest of this season. But he seems fully invested, even though he's not you know, starting every week or anything like that. Yeah, well, you know, I always look at the starter deal. We could start out in, 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 in nickel or or, or or our three down stuff. And I don't know if that would change much. You know, he plays a significant amount of reps in, 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 in crucial situations. And to me, he's a guy that we count on week in and week out. Are some of the linebackers now that you're mixing Deontay in a good bit, uh, some other guy, uh, kind of getting that rhythm together now as they figure out who they are, what they are, how they play together? I believe so. You know, I, I look at our guys and uh, the thing that I think they, they, they're they beginning to understand uh, the effort and the preparation required to, to play in this league at a high level, that's the biggest thing. You know, and when you've, when you've never played in a game and started an SEC game, you really don't have a standard. I, I believe they're beginning to understand there's, there's a standard of play that you have to play in just to be competitive, let alone win a game. Have you noticed the numbers on, on John Banks in the sense that they're, they're still not throwing away from him? You'd think that they would try the other side more and not try to give him an opportunity, but it seems like they still they still pick on him enough where he can make some plays. Hey, this is the SEC. <laughs> I mean, they got players too. So I don't think anybody shies away from, from doing things necessary uh, to winning a football game. They're going to try to get the ball in their best player's hands. And uh, it just so happens we try to put our best guy on our best player every week. So, you know, that's going to be that's going to be a week in and week out deal for us. Could you kind of compare and contrast your working relationship with Jeff uh, to, to you and Manny and kind of that dynamic of defense coordinator, co-defense coordinator? Besides living together, <laughs> yeah. you know, not a lot. You know, you know, obviously the big exception, Manny and I, uh, you know, we lived together for five months. Yeah. But uh, in regards to, you know, a working relationship, a quality human being, knowing football, you know, in and out, I, I get the best of both worlds. I get, you know, I get a background, obviously, from, from Manny's tree, and then you bring uh, – Coach Collins tree in, and it's really been beneficial to me, you know. So, uh, it, it, I mean, it, it's wonderful to, yeah. to say the least because there's nothing like having a second set of eyes to help you look at things from a, from a, from a different perspective. What specific things does Jeff bring to the table? I mean, obviously he's worked well with linebackers, but, you know, what, what other kind of things? Well, that's been key. I mean, that's been probably uh, the best and most critical deal. You know, he's been able to not only uh, carry on what we were establishing a year ago, he's been able to enhance it. You know, because you got you got some guys in there, and, and and when I look at Jeff Collins, he is a linebackers coach. You know, obviously he, he's a great coordinator also, but he is a linebacker coach. He prides himself on it. He he knows the, the ins and outs of it, and so it makes me it gives me a bit of comfort when you see a guy who can go back there and fix those guys ASAP. And so that, that's what he brings more than anything. That's kind of been his reputation that he's gone in and the linebackers have really turned the corner that first year. I know you don't want to say, oh. It's, it's been done. It's We're here now. But has it really been that way the last four, four weeks or so with him? 
Well, what I've seen is improvement every week. Yeah. And that and that's our that's our measuring stick and that's our standard. Are we improving week in and week out? And that and that's what I've noticed. I mean, and, and the stats show that. And so in the productivity that shows that, you know. So when you when you combine those things and uh, you look you look at those numbers, you know, as far as us playing better defense week in and week out, you know, not only are the guys up front, the, the four down guys, huge part of that, but when you talk about stopping the run, there's seven guys who usually uh, play a role in that. Talk a little bit about the decision that went into play Preston Smith midway through the season. He, he earned it. You know, that was the biggest deal. You know, there was a need. Uh, he filled the need by really what he did on scout team. It had nothing to do with, you know, regular reps. He went over to scout team against our best players, and uh, he really performed at a high level. And the, the thing you notice is, you know, you earn your way in our program. And all I, I remember hearing is Coach Mullen, uh, Coach Salick, uh, Coach Hevesy talk about how well this kid is playing against really good people. So, uh, you know, we looked at it, and, you know, he, he earned his way over there, and it's been, it's been pretty good for us. How many snaps did he play last, last game? Uh, you know, I don't really have the numbers in front of me. I don't, I don't, I don't even know quite actually if he got snaps okay. in last week's game, you know, to be quite honest. But, uh, you know, he's playing in, in certain roles, and every week we try to give him a, a, a role that, that, that he can go in and really contribute and be successful in. Yeah, yeah. So those are the things that we try to find every week for Preston. I don't know if he's a 25-snap player, you know, you know, player a game, yeah. but there's also a package and a role for him every week. Okay. Morgan Newton, I mean, what kind of, you know, how dangerous is he, just not only on his feet, but also with his arm? He seems to get a little bit more confidence last week or so. He did. He made a lot of throws that I hadn't seen all week. Uh, long balls, intermediate passing game. Uh, really made really good decisions going from his first progression to his second progression, which, which is a big sign of maturity because you hadn't saw that early in the season. And um, the thing that he does really well is when he doesn't see it, he has the availability to make plays with his leg. What, what, what always concerns you is when the guy's sitting back there and he's going to his first, second, and third read, which he did quite a bit of last week.